looking to turn your old PC or Raspberry Pi into a powerful home server in 2025? Two top contenders are Casa OS and Zima OS, but which one should you choose? In this quick comparison, we'll break down the pros, cons, and the use cases to help you decide. First, what are these platforms? Casa OS is an open source Docker-based home server system. It focuses on simplicity and runs great on devices like Raspberry Pi, Intel NUCs, and old PCs. Zima OS, developed by Ice Whale, is built for Zima board, but also works on other x86 systems. It's a slightly more polished all-in-one platform for server newbies and pros alike. User interface and usability. Now let's talk about user interface. Casa OS offers a very clean and minimal interface, ideal for beginners. Think of it like a mobile app launcher. Click, install, and go. Zima OS has a more traditional desktop style dashboard. It includes features like File Explorer, Terminal Access, and pre-installed apps. It feels like a hybrid between Linux and a smart appliance. Casa OS wins for simplicity. Zima OS wins for control and features. Features and performance. Casa OS is Docker native, meaning you can install almost any containerized app, Jellyfin, Home Assistant, Nextcloud, all with a few clicks. It's lightweight and runs smoothly, even on low-end hardware. Zima OS goes beyond Docker. It includes a full NAS stack, media streaming, networking tools, and even PCIe pass-through support if you are using it on a Zima board or other x86 system. Casa OS equal lightweight and flexible. Zima OS equals more features but heavier. Community and development. In 2025, Casa OS has a thriving open source community, frequent updates, and strong documentation. Zima OS, while still open source, is developed mainly by Ice Whale and geared towards their own hardware. That means updates are consistent, but customization can feel limited outside the Zima board ecosystem. Who should you choose? Now, so here's the bottom line. Choose Casa OS if you want a lightweight, beginner-friendly platform to run Docker apps and manage your home server with minimal hassle. It's perfect for Raspberry Pi or old PCs. Choose Zima OS if you want a full-blown home server with advanced NAS features, PCIe support, and you are using a Zima board or similar x86 machine. It's more powerful, but a bit more technical. Conclusion. In the end, both Casa OS and Zima OS are awesome in 2025. It really depends on your setup and goals. Let me know down below in the comments, which one are you going to choose? And that's all for today's video. If you find it helpful, please don't forget to support us with like, subscribe to the channel, leave us a good comment, and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching and goodbye.